بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This lesson is for fifth grade elementary smart class four module four smart kids and our world In this lesson we will uh, we will learn more games and sports we will learn some close we will learn and practice the present progressive in questions and negatives First of all, I want to revise what we have studied in the previous lesson. Now, if you remember in the previous lesson, we studied, we've learned some sports. We learned some sports like tennis. We said that he's playing. We learned the form uh, of the progressive, present progressive. He is playing. We said he's playing uh, tennis. He's playing volleyball. He's playing uh, basketball. He's playing. Uh, football okay today we will continue we'll learn more sports and we will learn uh, some clothes we will start uh, with page page 48 please open your books to page 48 to the top part the vocabulary what can you see here look at these pictures look at these pictures what can you see in these pictures okay Huh? These are clothes, okay? These are clothes. So you can see parts or pieces of clothes, okay? So the first word is a verb, which is wear. Wear. Wear means to put on uh, the, the clothes. So wear, wear. See the boy here? He is wearing his jacket. He's wearing his jacket or his clothes okay now look at the uh, word here trainers 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 glasses 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 jeans 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 gloves gloves Gloves, scarf, 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 jacket, jacket, jacket. Okay, so the trainers, trainers are kind of shoes, kind of shoes, sport shoes. Okay, glasses, jeans, gloves, scarf jacket now think about your clothes do you have trainers do you have glasses jeans write down the clothes that you have in your closet the, the clothes that you have write them down on a paper okay now look at the pictures here look at the pictures here we have some boys what are they doing huh look at the boys here they are playing football very good they're playing football and what are they wearing what are they wearing the boys most of the boys are wearing jeans yes they are wearing jeans a lot of boys are wearing jeans okay now we will listen to a dialogue between two boys and then we will go back to the structure. One, look and listen. Hey, Ali, we're at the park. Where are you? I'm at the park too. I'm playing football. Are you wearing jeans? Yes, I am. I'm wearing a white shirt, a hat, and white trainers. Okay. Now we'll listen to the other part. Is he wearing white trainers? Yes, he is. I can see him. Ali! Ali!
Oops. Sorry. You aren't a Lee. Hey, Salim, Alex. Okay, so as you can see, two boys were wearing the same clothes. Blue jeans, white shirt, and white trainers. So they thought that this boy is Ali, and in fa uh, uh, um, um, he is not Ali. Ali is the other one, okay? Now look at the activity that we have here. Uh, look at activity one and choose. Is uh, is Ali playing football in picture one? Huh, look back uh, at picture one. Is Ali playing football? Huh? The second uh, question, is Ali wearing a blue shirt in picture two? Okay, let's look at picture two. Is Ali wearing a blue shirt? Okay, third one, is Ali wearing white trainers? Is Ali wearing white trainers? Okay. Is Ali wearing white trainers? And here the last question. Are Salim and, uh, Salim and Alex wearing white trainers? Are they wearing white trainers? Okay. Try to answer these questions. Your answer should be like this. Is Ali wearing football? Uh, is Ali playing football in picture one? Yes, he is. Is Ali wearing a blue shirt in picture two? No, he isn't. He's wearing white, a uh, white shirt. Is Ali wearing white trainers? Yes, he is. Are Sali uh, Salim and Alex wearing white trainers? No, they are not. Okay. Now let's see this activity. I want you to listen and tick the correct answer. Three. Listen and tick. One. Is she wearing gloves? Two. Three. Listen and tick. One. Is she wearing gloves? Two. Is he wearing a scarf? Three. Are they wearing jackets? Four. Is he wearing a thobe? Okay. So the answers uh, are Sean. Okay, these are the answers. These are the answers. Now let's look at the grammar part. Are you wearing a scarf? Yes. I am or no, I am not. Is he wearing gloves? Yes, he is or no, he's not. Is she wearing a dress? Yes, she is or no, she isn't. Aren't they wearing jeans? Yes, they are or no, they are. They aren't, okay? Now, this is using the progressive in questions. How to use the progressive in questions or the continuous form in questions. Okay, look at this, uh, the explanation here. Now, the affirmative one is they are playing tennis. They are playing tennis. If I want to make a question, I will say, are they playing tennis? I will use the verb to be here to ask, okay? Are they playing tennis? Of course, the answer will be yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Yes, they are, or no, they aren't, okay? Look at the other example. He is playing tennis. If I want to ask, I will say, is he playing tennis? I will use verb to be again. Is he playing tennis? And for the answer, for short answers, we will say, yes, he is or no, he isn't. Yes, he is or no, he isn't, okay? And you can see all the pronouns used here. Am I playing? Are you playing? Is, is he or is she playing? Are we, are you, are they? Okay, and the answers uh, are here too. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Uh, yes, he is. No, he isn't. Okay, you can practice this uh, with your friends, asking questions and uh, answering or with your brothers, sisters at home. 
uh, think about someone and ask who is he, okay? Who is he or who is she? Is he wearing jeans? Yes, he is. Is he wearing blue, tra blue trainers? Yes, he is. Is uh, it's Jamal? Yes, okay, you can practice this game about your friends or with, with your uh, brothers or your sisters about somebody in the family or uh, one of your friends, okay? Now look at page 49, page 49, we will study, uh, um, not 49, I think 50, we will study our world, okay? Now look at the uh, words here, the vocabulary here. We will have more sports, okay? They are playing table tennis. So this is another sport, table tennis. We have tennis and we have table tennis. They are playing hide and seek. This is a game, okay? This is a game, an action game that uh, kids play. Hide and seek. He is reading. He is reading, okay? So, they are playing table tennis. They are playing hide and seek. He is reading. He is reading, okay? Now, we have uh, some information about the people here. We have a boy here, his name is what? What's his name? His name is Tom, yes, he's Tom. And here we have Hasna and Kelly. Yes, Hasna and Kelly, okay? We will listen to some information about them, then we will do the activity. One, look and listen. This is Tom. He isn't playing tennis. He's playing table tennis. He's wearing a blue shirt. He isn't wearing blue trousers. His trousers are black. Hasna and Kelly are friends. They are playing hide and seek. Hasna is wearing a pink hat and a pink jacket. Kelly isn't wearing a hat. She's wearing a green jumper. Okay. Now let's see those two girls. Uh, this is Sarah and her sister. This is Sarah and her sister. Okay, listen. This is Sarah with her sister. They aren't playing. They are reading a book. Okay, now look at this activity here. I want you to tick the activity. Tick the, the information for uh, each person, for Tom, for Hasna and... Kelly and for Sarah, okay? Have one minute to do it, and then I'll show the answers. Okay? Okay, they are reading a book. This is Sarah and her sister. He isn't wearing blue trousers. This is Tom. They aren't playing. This is Sarah and her sister. He's playing table tennis. Yes, very good. This is Tom. They're playing hide and seek. This is Hasna and Kelly. Yes, very good. Okay, now let's move to the grammar part. Uh, uh, we are still uh, studying about the present progressive or the present continuous. But now we will study how to make negatives, okay? I'm not playing. You're not playing tennis, he isn't playing tennis, uh, playing hide and seek, she isn't reading and they aren't playing. Of course, I'm not is a short form of I am not. You aren't is a short form of you are not. He isn't is a short form of he is not. She isn't is the short form of she is not. And they aren't is a short form of they are not. Now we have all the pronouns here and how to make negatives and short forms. How do we make the negative? I am reading. This is the affirmative. Okay. We make negatives by adding not after verb to be. Okay. We add the not after verb to be. So we have here, I am not reading. The short form is, I'm not reading. In I am, we make the short form in am, not in the not, okay? She is reading, will be. 
she is not reading and the short form is she isn't reading okay they are reading we will say they are not reading and the short form will be they aren't reading okay now listen to this uh, um, activity here three listen and tick one he isn't playing football he's playing basketball two he isn't playing table tennis he's reading a book three they aren't playing hide and seek they're playing tennis okay let's try to answer huh have you answered okay these are the answers here so he's playing basketball and here he's reading he is playing tennis okay now the final part I want you to use the cutouts on page 129 okay use the cutouts on page 129 and I want you to practice making negatives and affirmative sentences uh, for example he isn't playing football he isn't playing table tennis he isn't playing hide and seek okay is he Ali okay so I want you to practice asking and making uh, sentences in the negative form you can do it about yourself or your brothers your sisters you can say for example he isn't watching TV he isn't playing football he is playing video games and you ask a question is he Khalid or Ahmed or Ali okay and the answer will be yes or no he isn't okay please practice asking in the progressive form about things that you are or your family is doing now uh, please ask questions about the things your family brothers sisters friends are doing now in the progressive form and I will meet you in another lesson thank you for being good listeners